Good morning, everyone. Channeling the school spirit of being stronger together, I am today joined by two guests, Lucy Bevan and Emily Brockman from Lucy Bevan Casting, to talk about the new beginnings they are facing in the film industry. Lucy and Emily have cast some of the most iconic films of our generation, from Gemma Arterton, Paloma Faith and Russell Brand in St Trinian's, to major global projects such as Maleficent, Cinderella and Beauty and the Beast. And that is just to name a few, Lucy and Emily having worked together for many years, produced an impressive resume, having selected talents for British independent films, theatre and television. A Polish corner herself, I'm delighted to welcome Emily back into the FHS spirit, spotlight once again, and see what wisdom she can pass on to current students from her own experience. Good morning, Lucy and Emily. My first question for the two of you is, what got you into film? And Emily, were you ever involved in drama and theatre at the school? Great question. Lucy, do you want to start? Yes, what got me into film was, um, I, no one in my family background had anything to do with it. Um, and when I went, to, I went to Manchester University and I set up a drama, I, I sort of, I was studying English and American literature, but I set up a drama society um, with some other like-minded people and we put on plays and I did that throughout university and that got me the bug for um, all things to do with theatre and um, I actually cast Benedict Cumberbatch in the production of Hedda Gabler when he was a fresher and I was a third year and I thought oh I think I really enjoy this so that was what got me started in my interest and then back in those days pre-internet I just wrote to lots of producers and got my first job as a runner but I think Emily's story about how she got into film is perhaps more relevant to this particular interview. Emily, over to you. So um, I actually met Lucy at a careers evening at Francis Holland in the main hall when I was 15 years old. Um, so I have Francis Holland to thank for the fact that I met Lucy, which is kind of amazing and completely random. Um, so yeah, so I, that's how I first knew about casting as a career. Um, and after that just did quite a lot of work for Lucy. I did my work experience week with her after my GCSEs, um, and then went off and worked in other areas of film and casting and then came back and worked for Lucy again. Um, and then have been working for her kind of full time ever since I finished university. Um, and to answer your question, Roisin, about um, working in theatre and drama at um, Francis Holland, I was really into drama, but I knew I definitely didn't want to act. So I had a total respect for the girls in my year and obviously other years who you know, were in the plays and did a lot of theatre. And I always had liked to help behind the scenes. So I did like hair and makeup on, I think it was South Pacific. Um, but I knew from a very young age that I did not want to act. Yeah. So it's made it easier for me. There's one person who's relevant to this to do with Francis Holland as well, which is Elaine Kelly, who had um, who invited me to do the careers evening, which is where I met Ellie. Well, which is sorry, which is where I met Emily. So I was very grateful to Elaine for um, inviting me to come along and speak at Francis Holland because that's how I met Emily. Very yeah, me very too, obviously. Well. Very small world. Um, what was it about casting that drew you two to it? I loved film ever since I was a child and I watched E.T. It had a dramatic effect on me um, and showing my age. It was the E.T. Back to the Future that um, had the biggest impact on me. And I loved, I fell in love with film as a child. And I was always most interested in how those actors brought those characters to life and how they best served the story. And when I started working in um, production, which is, you know, being a runner and running around Soho delivering packages and parcels and things, um, the area of film that interested me most was casting. So um, it was really just being moved as a child by watching films and seeing actors fulfill their roles brilliantly. Um, that, that was got what drew me in. Great. Yeah, and I think, I mean, I was very lucky because I found it very young, so I didn't have necessarily the same experience that a lot of people who want to work in film have, which is they work in film for a while in different areas and then find that casting is a sort of, you know, a big part of creating a film. Um, I like to see I always was very into film as a kid. Um, and I didn't, I sort of, I think, toyed with the idea of being a director because that's sort of the one job that I had really ever heard of. 
Um, but then, um, yeah, I just love, I, it's really fun to work with actors and it's a kind of cool behind the scenes job where you get to have a big impact on the film, but you also kind of maintain a bit of uh, privacy. You're not in the spotlight in quite the same way as some of the other jobs in film. That's a really interesting point. Um, our, one of our themes for the Women of Influence series is being stronger together. And what's a way that you would think that the two of you have learned to be stronger together, maybe over the past year in particular? Well, I'll answer that one in that I really missed, um, Emily works with me and then there are um, three other members of the office as well. And I, I realised in lockdown when we, this time nearly a year ago, when we stopped being in the office, how much I actually really missed them. I really missed the, <laughs> I missed the banter, not just the banter, but I missed um, not just the professionalism of the, you know, we all work together professionally, but we also have fun together. And I missed their influence of having having younger people working with younger people and working not just younger but bright brilliant people and having their um input not just on professionally on the jobs that we're doing but generally speaking yeah i miss that i, I definitely feel um that the that collaboration and working with people that you not only really sort of you know respect but also really like is a really nourishing thing creatively and personally in my opinion yeah definitely um and I'll ask this to Emily then. What's been your favourite project to cast so far? Oh, really good question. Um, a couple that I stand out are one of them that I was um, I worked on with Lucy, and I think might have been one of the first projects where I had more responsibility was um, a film that Oliver Stone directed called Snowden, um, simply because I was such a huge Oliver Stone fan. Um, and I did history at university and I actually studied a couple of Oliver Stone's films. So I had this really weird, surreal, amazing experience where sort of three years after I graduated, I was able to like sit in rooms with him and like get his coffee. Um, and that was, I just think that one really stuck with me just because it was so incredibly exciting and just amazing to work with someone that I kind of knew quite a lot about and really respected. Um, and then the other one that I actually also really, really enjoyed was Lucy and I worked on a um, theatre sort of season um, in the West End and we'd never done, well I'd never done any theatre at all before um, and um, Kenneth Branagh was putting on this kind of big season of plays and that I also really enjoyed just because it was totally outside of what I'd done before with Lucy um, and it was a whole kind of different set of actors that we kind of met and cast um, and it felt like a kind of a bit of a family, which sometimes in, in casting, you're a little bit further removed from, you know, because you, you're not on set. Um, so that I really enjoyed as well, particularly. So I remember when we were working for Oliver Stone and he had a little, he fell asleep. We were at the grad table and he fell asleep in the middle of meetings. And we let him have a little sleep. And then Emily went, I know, there was a bit of cake you saw earlier on the walk because she had to walk him from the hotel to Grouch Show Club. And there was a bit of cake he'd seen in the window. Oh, so I said, get the cake. So Emily ran off to get the cake. We let him have a little sleep on the floor of the Grouch Show Club in our private room. And we woke him up and I remember standing over him going, Oliver, Oliver, wake up! And Emily had this cake. We made him have tea and cake. And we got on with the next actor. But I remember that. That was very yeah. amazing. It was, it was pretty cool. That didn't happen during the casting of the theatre season. No one was falling asleep. <laughs> um, Lucy, what would the best advice you can give to young actors? Oh, to young actors? Um, practice, practice, practice. Put on plays. You know, um do it don't let anyone stop you from doing it but there are so many different mediums now that you can create things yourselves um and flex those muscles and if you love it and really enjoy it then find every opportunity you can yourself to do it um emily you said earlier that um something useful about casting is that you have this element of privacy what would you what kind of relationship do you have with actors and writers and directors and who do you tend to work closest with that's a really good question. I think that um, we one hopes on a project, if it's going well, that you're working the closest with the director because it's their vision that you are trying to kind of, you know, see through and the actors that you're casting are kind of to support and kind of create the world that they, they're seeing in their mind. Um, so one hopes that it's the director that you have the kind of closest collaboration with. Actors are probably one of my favorite kind of groups of people that we deal with just because when you're meeting them often it's in an audition setting which can be quite nerve-wracking but it's also really fun it's sort of you know they come in 
reading a scene and it's different every single time because obviously each actor brings their own interpretation to the script. Um, so we also do work a lot with actors, but obviously I guess you're seeing them probably once, maybe twice, three times on a project as opposed to directors who you're sort of working more closely and consistently with. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. So it's about having that nice balance and a good relationship with the director to get that correct vision across. Definitely. And also I think having a good relationship with the actors as well, or at least even if you don't know them, being able to, in an audition setting, get the best out of someone is a really important part of the job. Um, and how, um, sorry, what's the best piece of advice you could give to young people today who are hoping to go into the world of film, especially in the current madness of the pandemic? From either of you. Lucy, do you want to start with that one or do you want me to? <laughs> I would say that if you want to work in the film business, be prepared to work really, really hard. And yeah. if, you, if you really, really want to, if there's anything easier, do that. <laughs> um, uh, I think, you know, if you're, then, and, and also it's a great, um, it's a great place for apprenticeship. You know, I think it's a great way to learn through watching other people. I was very lucky to work with Mary Selway, who was a brilliant casting director who cast with Nell and I and um, Out of Africa and original Star Wars. And I was very lucky to learn from her and I really, really valued that. And I think if there's any way you can get any work experience at all, grab that opportunity because you can spend a week doing something and realizing that you don't like it and you've just saved yourself years of pain. You know, I would say get, get, get work experience if you can, get as much experience as you can. Um, don't give up and be determined and, and find your own way in, I would say. Yeah, I think specifically as well, to Lucy's point on casting, I mean, all jobs, I think, in the film industry have been made 50% harder by the fact that COVID now exists. I'm sure that's true across all industries. But I think to Lucy's point, you know, it is, it's a really hard industry to begin with that has been made that much harder by COVID. So there is a, you know, the kind of total dedication and commitment to it is important. And also I think specifically if you're looking to get into casting, one thing that I think is really kind of valuable is having an opinion and knowing who actors are and having watched a lot of stuff. So, you know, watching film, watching TV, um, so that you have an idea of the kind of landscape, who's creating what, who the young actors are. Um, that also just helps, um, you know, with, the, with casting and how the job works, basically. It's a really interesting point of being able to sort of recognise those connections. Definitely. Build. That's a really interesting point. Thank you so much, both of you. It's been very inspiring, very interesting. Now so let's can, pray. Can I, um, Richie, can I just put a shout out to Edie Bedard, who's at your school, please? Oh. Who's my, my cousin. And thank you very much for having us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let us pray. Father God, oh. may we live and work and learn in a world which is ever more equal. Lord, please help us each to play our part in shaping this world into a better place for everyone. Amen. Thank you both so much.